Violence fire design really is the discovery of fundamental biological principles and analogies uh, that can then be transferred to uh, human engineering to make uh, designs possibly even better than nature does. One of our most uh, memorable projects was studying how cockroaches run and by uh, talking about the discovery we made where some cockroaches run on two legs, we actually had a phone call from Pixar and they said they were making a children's movie called The Bug's Life. It's our interactions with them that actually led us to a new way to think about how animals move. So in looking at the cockroaches, recently we discovered how they squeeze through tiny little uh, gaps. They compress their body by uh, 50%, and they can squeeze through uh, a whole quarter of their standing height in less than a second. And when they uh, do this, they can still run at very high rates, 20 body lengths a second, the equivalent of sort of 70 miles an hour for a human, even though they're compressed in half. We took that inspiration and designed a novel robot of which the body is here that uh, also can compress in half and go into very narrow spaces, we hope in the future, for assisting first responders in search and rescue for disasters such as uh, earthquakes or um, explosions or tornadoes or hurricanes. Integrated Biology 32 is called Bioinspired Design, and that's what we do. We talk about the fundamental discovery process, so we learn about how we extract a principle from a scientific paper, and then take that principle and design something uh, novel. And the incredible capabilities of things like additive manufacturing and the integration of disciplines like uh, biology, engineering, architecture are coming together to produce novel ideas in all the fields. The real strength of it is that uh, discovery in one field can change the way another field thinks about what they do and you develop this extraordinary synergy that uh, puts you in a position where the collective discoveries are beyond what any single discipline could ever do.